Uh, morning guys, uh, we're back out on the Roman field today. Um, I think the weather's going to be quite nice. It's uh, starting to break up and the sun's starting to shine through. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Alright guys, first find of the day, we've got a squash thimble. Uh, it's missing the top and it is squashed. So, still not a bad find. Alright, on to the next. Alright, we're on the musket balls today. Always nice finding these. Alright, on to the next. Alright guys, been here for a few hours now. Um, it's been a pretty lead driven day. It's all the rubbish that we've found so far. But we do have a clod with an edge in. A very, very thin edge, just there. I uh, really hope it's not a button. Let's just pick it out. The shank on that side. Got a shank. <laughs> oh, we're not having a very good day, are we? Oh well, that's quite an old button, though. It's very, very, very thin. Okay, on to the next. Right, about three feet away from that button we found, we've just had a clod up, and this has fallen out. Looks like a coin. It's bent. Yeah, it is a coin. Might be a good candidate for some electrolysis. I've been having a bit of luck on that recently. It's pretty crusty and pretty toast, but I think um, a few minutes of electrolysis, that'll probably come off. Very, very thin. Right, let's try and give it a quick clean. Right, I've just cleaned it up slightly. Um, I can't see anything on that at all. No writing, no picture, nothing, so. Uh, we probably will give it a bit of an electrolysis wash, but I don't think we're going to get much off that. I, I'm not even 100% sure it's a coin, to be honest. Good to be a disc of metal. Alright, on to the next. I should just have these out of the ground, literally just a few metres apart. Uh, a couple of bridle rings, I think. Uh, very thin, so probably quite old. Um, I guess there's a lot of horses in this area then. On to the next. Right, this was a bit of an iffy signal, but I think we've got a coin. Uh, part of me didn't really want to dig this one, but then I thought, well, why the heck not? Uh, I'm glad I did, because I'm pretty sure it's a coin. Yeah, it's a coin, definitely. It's got writing on it. I should try and give it a clean. I think it's probably a half penny, but I'll give it a clean up. Right, so there we go, guys. Um... I thought it was a little bit unusual to begin with because the, the date of it is just here on the head side um, and I had a quick look at the date and it's a George III um, I'm not 100% sure what sort of coin it is probably a, a half penny maybe uh, but there's Britannia on the back there um, I'll give it a clean when I get home see if we can get a little bit more of the writing off of it but a very gentle clean anyway I mean it's a 200 year old coin fantastic though pleased with that one right on to the next Right, it looks like we've got a little sunbather just in here. Uh, I was out with my wife the other day and she found an old penny on the surface, so I wonder if this is the same. Just get it out. Ah, oh, it's broken. Ah, oh, it's a button. Wow, that was it was just showing like that. I thought for sure that was going to be something good. That's a big button. Right, I just had this out of the clod and straight away I'm thinking a bit of rubbish. Um, you know, I sort of see it's folded in half. I'm just wondering if this might be a hammy. Uh, let's have a little look. Looks like it. Uh, let me just clean it up a little bit. Right, it's definitely a bit of hammered silver. Who or what remains a mystery. I might have to see if I can get someone to unfold this for me. Um, I mean, I would have a go, but I'm not sure if I um, trust myself to do it properly. Involving a lot of boiling water and gently easing it. Um, I, don't know, I may have a go. Right, well, on to the next. Well, 
We've got a little present in the clod. Um, I've had a very, 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 very quick look at it and I've put it back because I want to share the excitement with you. Um, I think we've got another hammered coin, but oh, it's clipped on the end here. But I think this is quite a big one. So I'm going to uncover it together. My word. Oh my goodness, this is huge. Whew. I have no idea what this is. It's been clipped. I mean, it's possible it may have fallen off, I'm not sure, but... Oh, it's a shame that you can't really see around the outside too well. You can't really read the writing. It's been heavily clipped. Uh, I can't make out a portrait, but it looks like a shield on the back. Oof, I'm going to have to get some opinions on this one, but I think... My biggest hammered coin, well it is my biggest hammered coin, it's huge. Literally thought it was a piece of scrap. Wicked. Okay, so, well, that was a pretty good day to be fair. Um, started out pretty terribly. By midday, we'd hardly found anything, just a, a couple of broken buttons and a musket ball, I think. But then it all started coming after after lunchtime. So, a couple of hammered coins. Um, I think I'm going to have a go at um, unfolding that hammered coin. Um, I'll let you know how I get on with that. Uh, I've seen a couple of tutorials on YouTube on how to do it. So, as long as I'm really, really careful, um, I should be able to do that, I think. Uh, and then there was that big hammered coin. I don't know what it is, but I dare say we'll find out. Um, yeah, so hopefully on to part two. Um, I think I'll be going out again later this week. So yeah, see you in part two. Hi guys, welcome to part two. We're back out on the, uh, the Roman and hammered field, I guess we can call it now. Uh, weather's gonna be good today, hopefully. Uh, it's a bit chilly, a bit windy, but let's get cracking. Right guys, first proper target of the day. We've got an edge in this clod here, just on the edge there. It's very, very thin. Um, let's get it out and hope it's not a button. <laughs> but a shank is a button. Oh well, I wonder if it's a good button. Yuck. Very muddy. One sec. There we go. It's quite a nice button. I think there was some gold gilt on it at one time. Um, there's some pattern, like a flower, possibly in the middle there. Uh, nothing majorly special. Still got a shank. So we continue on to the next. I right, just had this one out of the clod. Pretty high numbers. That's a beautiful buckle. Look at that. Not sure on age, maybe 17th century, something like that, Victorian maybe. Nice, I might have to try and polish that one off a bit. Now right, on to the next. We just had this out of the clod. Um, hmm. Pretty crusty. Uh, electrolysis should bring that out a little bit. Um, yeah, not sure. It could be a half penny. It's not a penny. Can't really see a lot on it. Possibly a portrait there. Um, yeah, might have to try a bit of electrolysis on this one or just try and give it a good clean. But we'll see when we get home. On to the next. All right. It's just in here. Looks like we've got a day of buckles. Rather have a day of coins, but... This one's pretty good shape as well. Nice, good patina on it. That's a couple of complete buckles. They'll polish up really nicely, I think. Right, on to the next. Hi right, guys, you've not been having much luck in the last couple of hours, but we've just dug up this hole. Had a really good reading, about 69.70 on the VDI. Um, and there's an edge in the bottom of this hole. I think it's a coin. Looks like a penny. Conditions like uh, there's Britannia. Right, let's just get this cleaned up. 
Right, there we go, guys. It's a Penny. There's Britannia on the front there. And it's a Victoria. So 18-something. I can't read the date on it. No. Hopefully it'll clean up. I'll be able to get the date off that. But, yeah, nice. Right, on to the next. Just had this on the surface. Little bullet. I just had this out near the surface. Um, is it the end of a Roman fibula? Never had one before. I, I think it might be. I'll, I'll ask around on Facebook. I think it might be. Cool. Right, on to the next. Right guys, this one was coming in quite high, it was around 91, 92 on the VDI. Um, usually that indicates uh, something big, you know, big bit of iron or something. Um, but we've got a little edge in the clod here. So let's just pull it out, gently. It's a coin. Right, as per usual, let's get it cleaned up. Alright, so we're giving it a little clean. Um, there is a head. It looks like it's fading to the left. I'm not sure who it is, though. Um, just wondering if it's a farthing, maybe. It's around about the right size. Maybe a little bit too big for it, actually. Uh, but we're going to have to give this a proper clean when we get home. Alright, cool. On to the next. Got a little sunbather here. I'm just wondering if it's a coin. Look. Could be very crusty. Hmm. Very, very thin. Could be a coin. Let's clean that when we get home. Right to the next. I just had another revealing edge in the clod, but it's a little button. Look how tidy that is. I mean, that, that's like the day it came out. That is so cool. Really good condition. Shanking everything. Hi guys, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Uh, we had a pretty good day today. We found that Roman fibula. Um, at least I think it's a Roman fibula. We just need to ask some people on Facebook. Um, yeah, if it is, it's my first ever one. So I'm well happy with that. I know it's broken, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, and then we had some buckles and buttons and some coins, which I think will clean up nicely. So we'll get those cleaned up and put a picture after this episode. Um, so yeah, so hopefully we'll be out again next week. And we will see you on the next one. Bye for now.